Hi, my Leo friends. Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot, here to do your weekly read for March 9th through to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. This will be a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone, so be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. So I'm going to be pulling two angel tarot cards, a white light oracle card, a crystal wisdom healing oracle card, and an animal speak rune. So Leo, let's see what energies are around you for this week. Wow. Okay, so Leo, we start out with the King of Fire and the Ace of Earth. So the King of Fire, this is, um, the King of Fire is someone who's very, has a lot of motivation, is very idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, um, has a lot of passion, um, and drive ambition. So that's the energy that you're presenting this week, Leo. So this is about you focusing, and again, focusing and focusing. So make sure that you're communicating, um, communicating well with others, that you're communicating in a very focused way, you're communicating your vision with others, and that you're being a leader. Um, with others around you. So this could be in the home life. This can also translate into the, the money, career, finance area. So in your career, if you're working on a project with others, this is really about you taking the reins and taking control this week and being that leader. And um, But you could also be receiving advice as well from someone who's very creative. And if you get that advice, um, listen to it. Take some time to listen to that advice and find a way to implement that into your vision for this week because you also have the ace of earth and the ace of earth aces are new opportunities coming in and earth energy is is everything that makes you feel safe and stable and secure in your life so these are your ta usually tangible assets like your money your possession your home because your home is a possession um, so this is about um, there's an infl inflow of abundance this week in that material world in that material realm so there could be a promising business venture that comes your way and again that could be coming from that advice from someone who's creative they could be expressing a creative idea and with your leadership abilities Leo you then take that and turn it into a promising business venture so this is how this kind of energy could kind of play out. And it can also represent important documents or contracts. Um, so do be sure that if you do, are presented with a contract or um, a document, make sure that you are reading it over very carefully. This week we still have Mercury in retrograde. Um, so you do want to make sure that you're reading it carefully, reading the fine print um, before you're signing any documents. So I'm now going to pull a white light oracle card. See what energy this has, what messages this these cards have for you. Okay, and we have Sacrament of Extreme Unction. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it, and hopefully I don't cut it off like I did last week with some of the signs. Um, I looked at the videos later and it was terrible. You could only see half of the picture of the card. But I love these cards, the imagery. I'm hoping that you can see that. I'll try holding it a little bit closer. Now this is a card about your heart knowing how to let go of something so you can find peace. So you could be hanging on to something um, this week, Leo. You could be finding that you're reluctant to let something go. But this is about it being time for you to experience some kind of closure and finding a beautiful new reality that is opening up for you and allowing that in. But in order to allow that in, you are required to release your attachment to the past. So that is the energy of this card, and that is the message with this card, Leo. So again, this new opportunity that could come in for you here, and this inflow of abundance, it might be linked to you letting go of something um, that's no longer serving a purpose in your life. So now I'm going to pull a Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle card for you, Leo. Let's see what we've got for you this week. Okay, and we have Polychrome Jasper. Okay, so I'm going to hold that one up too. So Polychrome Jasper. So this is, this is a crystal that is it's actually a shaman's stone. 
and it assists with traveling between worlds. It offers protection as well while you travel. So if you are traveling anywhere, this is a good stone to be carrying. Um, it also helps you to remember why you are here living on Earth, why your soul has chosen to um, come back to Earth. Um, so this is also um, this is also a stone that that's good for security. It gives you a, a, a sense of security and stability, and um, it's it's also. It also helps you to find your power and and um, inner guidance, and it also gives it also lets you. Um, it's it's advising that this week you, you you're able to give assistance to others who are seeking freedom, um, but do guard against giving away your power easily. So if people are coming to you for advice. That's great and everything, but just be careful that you're not becoming too invested or too involved with um, with their issues and their problems this week, Leo. So it's reminding you to step, keep that little bit of a space. And now I'm going to pull an animal speak rune. Oh, and we have the owl, which is spirits. So like last week, I'm going to read from the book because again, I'm still learning them and I want to make sure I'm giving you all of the messages. They're in alphabetical order. Owl, spirit. So the owl is one of the most ancient signs for spirit contact. Spirits are strong around you now, so you should trust your instincts and silent impressions. Do not ignore the phenomena as you begin to experience spirits more tangibly seeing, hearing, and feeling them. Your mediumistic abilities are strong right now, Leo. So the owl is also a creature of the night, and night is the home of dreams. Guidance and illumination are coming to you through your dreams right now. Attend to them as they will become increasingly lucid and prophetic in the next few weeks. And if you're not sure what lucid dreaming means, that means um, it's that ability to, when you realize that you're dreaming and you're in a dream state during your dream, and you suddenly have control and power over that dream and you choose the direction that it's going to go in. Um, so that's what lucid dreaming is. So the owl's eyes are adapted to see the subtlest of movement with the least amount of light and its hearing is just as acute as its sight. Because of this, you will see subtleties that you may not have noticed before. You will hear undercurrents in the voices of others. Secrets will be uncovered. Just know that the help and guidance you need are available to you, but it is still up to you to act upon that guidance. Lovely messages for you this week, Leo. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. This concludes your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next weekly reading is available as well as when the bigger monthly readings are available. I plan to have, or I'm hoping to have, um, the April monthly April readings done and published and on line by um, this coming Sunday and if not Sunday then Monday so you can kind of see those energies and that's around you for that month in advance. So again thank you for watching Leo and take care.